Hello, hello guys, and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial, guys, I will be showing you how to install Google Analytics for WooCommerce in 2023. If you're looking to track your online store's performance and gain valuable insights into your customers' behavior, then you are in the right place. In this video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up Google Analytics on your WooCommerce store, including how to install the plugin and how to connect it with your Google Analytics account. And figure your tracking settings, so grab a pen and paper and let's get started. The first thing guys that I will need you to do is simply go ahead and launch your browser. After that, go to the URL section and launch your WooCommerce website. So you can launch it from here, as you can see, this is for WooCommerce, and then click on the first link to set up your first store. For me, I have it already. So I'm just going to log into my account, which is in my local host. I'm going to access WordPress, and then I will just connect to my dashboard. So simply by clicking over here, it will take me to the dashboard. Now, as you can see, guys, this is the dashboard. And for me to be able to add any kind of plugins, all I'm going to do is simply Go to here, so there is this menu, dashboard, home, and different kinds of plugins that you have, and finally here you will find the plugins. So, to be able to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website or WooCommerce store, all you need to do is click on plugins, click on add new, and then you will find two ways of actually integrating the plugin into your website. The first one which is by clicking on upload plugin from over here, and then it will show you this window. What you can do here is simply choose a file from your PC. So let's say that you have the plugin as a zip file in your PC. You just have to choose a file from here and then click on install now and it will be installed. So for example, let's search for Google Analytics. Here we go. And let's add plugin. Now as you can see, let's go here for WordPress and you might find it over here. So here it is as an example. So all you need to do is click on download and then it will be downloaded on your PC. After that, click on choose file and then just drag it and install it. The second way, which is just going to here to the keywords and then click here, write Google Analytics and you will find it here. So this is the thing that we need, which is Sites Kits by Google Analytics Search Console on AdSense Speed. So first of all, all you need to do is go ahead and click on Install. So let's go and click on Install, which you can see here. And then let's give it some time until it's fully installed. So it can take some time. It can take a couple seconds into one minute maximum. After that, as you can see here, you just have to click on Activate. If you'd like to see more details about it, you just have to click here. And you will see all the features about this plugin, why it is here, what it does, and much more. So let's click on activate. And here, guys, they will take us to this page, which is the actual plugin page. Make sure that it is active. So let's search for it Google Analytics. So here it is Sites Kit by Google. And now, all you need to do is simply go to here, dashboard, and you will find it down below it. So here it is Sites Kit. Click on it. And then all you need to do is simply connect Google Analytics as part of your setup. So you just have to do one of these. So let's sign in with Google, for example. The request that you case a proxy. So for me, I'm using it as my local host. That's why it will not work. But if I did that, something like that, it will 100% work for you. So let me try this with another website. So back to you guys. Now, as you can see, they have taken me to this page to sign in with Google. Let's give them all the access. So here we can give them the access to everything from associating with your personal information. Here, see your personal info, including any personal info you've made publicly available. See your primary Google account, email address, and view manners. These things can be like uh, not necessarily done, but you can check them as well. For me, I'm just going to click on continue. So now after we clicked on continue, they will take us to this page. So here, as you can see, it has 
the site kit was interrupted because he did not grant the necessary permissions all right i think i had to give him all the permissions so let's do that one more time so here i'm going to click on my email let's check these two and then now i'm going to click on continue here have google verify site ownership so for now we can click on here to verify and now all you need to do is give it a little bit of time so here it is doing the job and after that Google Ads uh, will actually make everything for you so now turn our metrics in your dashboard so allow and finally set up search console so you can click here to set up it so after that go to my dashboard and everything now is completely done so as you can see it is has been created for you now all you need to do is wait for it until it's open the dashboard and here it is congrats on completing the setup for sites kit now as you can see here you will find every little detail about your website from total clicks total impressions your traffic from the day the website is created till the last day that you are in here you can see like the details of the details and if you give it some time a little bit you will be able to actually see more stuff in this list so it's just generated now because i just have connected them with my google analytics and finally over here if you'd like later on to monetize your website you can actually add google adsense to your website and this will actually make you generate money from ads and of course from your store so two in one so you can get the double of your money that you are currently having so you can actually do the ads on your website and at the same time gain money from your store products so when customers will buy they can both click on your products and buy them and at the same time click on the ad and you gain more money so yeah guys this is pretty much it that's how you can add google analytics to your wordpress woocommerce website in 2023 guys so i hope you learned something from this video the setup was pretty easy straightforward no problems with it unless you were an, on a local host you will have some problems i really hope that you enjoyed this video and had completely understand what and how to set up site kit for your woocommerce website if you had any more problems or like mistakes or something like that make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your questions so you will have everything completely set up in your website so yeah guys that was it i hope you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and see you guys in the next video bye bye